The Adler Alpica Service Combined Motorway and Railway Route is one of the major projects of the Sochi Winter Olympics. Six pairs of high-speed trains per hour and a four-lane highway will allow 20,000 passengers to ride fast from winter to summer and come back. The hardest 32-kilometer section of the route between the towns of Achtir and Estos Adok has been built by companies with Eskimos Group. The work had to be done while coping with an elevation difference of over 400 meters within the confines of a sinuous and straight Mzimta River Canyon. It was near to impossible to squeeze the construction sites of the future route into tight gaps between the existing roads, pipelines, power and transmission lines and small settlements. The projected high speeds of motor vehicles and trains dictated that the designers and builders provide a route that should be as straight as possible. Because of the mountainous terrain, a large number of tunnels and bridges had to be built. A record-breaking actual total length of the infrastructure installations of the motorway and railway is over 50 kilometers within a 32 kilometer stretch of the SK Most contractual area. All installations were built bearing in mind high seismicity of the region of up to nine points, which required heavy reinforcement of concrete structures. Shock absorbers were installed on the supports for bridge span structures. The main problem in tunneling was keeping the circular cross section intact when dealing with loose rocks of varying density. Both pressure and confined groundwater was a big hurdle for tunnel builders. The effort of the preparatory work including the development of construction sites and the building of a grid of access roads was commensurable with the construction of the route proper. 11 access bridges and 20 kilometers of new roads had been built during the first year of constructions and 30 more kilometers of the existing roads had been upgraded. The site for accommodation of a tunnel lining production facility in the Meretia lowland had to be elevated over the entire construction area because of a high water table. The scope of work along the route called for an unheard of concentration of construction equipment. Up to 30 drilling rigs were operated at a time to build bridge pillars and retaining walls. Hundreds of vehicles, lifting cranes, and earth-moving machines were in operation. Up to six tunnel boring machines were used here, and the most powerful among them, with a cutting diameter of 10 to 13 meters, were purchased specifically for Sochi projects. For example, the gallery in tunnel system number one was driven using a LOVAT 232 tunnel boring machine with a cutting meter of 5.9 meters. While the railway and motorway tunnels of the system were driven using Alpine Miner mining machines and by drilling and blasting. One hundred and fifty meter long railway tunnel number two at the twenty third kilometer of the route was driven by the mining method. Four tunnel boring machines were running at a time to drive the longest tunnel system number three, which is over four kilometers long. Again, the railway tunnel of tunnel system number three was driven using a combination of methods. A 10.2 meter diameter Lovat 394 tunnel boring machine moved from the southern tunnel entry and the mining method was used for tunneling from the northern tunnel entry. This combination is used very rarely but it was justified here by extremely challenging geological conditions. Railway tunnel number four at the 36 kilometer of the route was driven by drilling and blasting.
The railway tunnel of tunnel system number five was driven by a 10.6 meter diameter head and connect 10690 tunnel boring machine. The motorway tunnel of tunnel system number five was built by the mining method using Mitsui mining machines where special unstable soil shoring technologies were used. Jet grouting was the most popular among those technologies. The method is based on drilling 12 to 50 meter long boreholes over the face cross section and cement mortar is then injected into the boreholes. After the mortar was set, the tunnel walls and the faults cannot collapse. The builders had to consolidate not only the tunnel vault, but also the slopes at the northern entry of railway tunnel number six. The first tunneling of a gallery for tunnel system number one was driven in May 2010. One month after that, the tunnel boring machine leaving the service gallery of tunnel system number five was inaugurated in June. Ten more tunnels had been completed during the next two years after that. The underground working length amounted to more than 30 kilometers. Even the Baikal-Amur railway line which was built by the effort of the entire country, did not see such a pace. Forty-five bridges of a total length of 20 kilometers have been built within the SK Most contractual area, and most of them, which add up to 12 kilometers, are specially rated bridges, meaning each of them is longer than 500 meters. Over 100,000 metric tons of steel structures have been installed and 300,000 cubic meters of concrete mix poured to build all bridges on the route. The stay cable bridge at the 25th kilometer of the route was rated as the most challenging by experts. The bridge total length over 800 meters with 312 meters long central span with pylons that are 80 meters high. This is the first stay cable bridge in the south of Russia. All bridges on the route had to be protected against washout by the Mzimta River and against landslides. Retaining walls have been built to deal with landslides and sheet piling and stone filled baskets were used to protect the river banks against erosion. Concrete mixing plants were deployed along the entire route to reduce concrete delivery time. Steel structure assembly and stowing grounds have provided and equipped at each bridge construction site. Tunnel entry sites and freight yards have been provided at each tunnel entry. In less than a year, a plan for fabricating tunnel lining members, tubings, has been put in place in the Emirati Lowland. The plant with a footprint of 17 hectares had been producing up to 15,000 cubic meters of tubings of different size every month. There have been no similar precision line fabrication plants in Europe so far in terms of the size, product range and output. The hot and humid climate in Sochi required special design concepts to be applied to housing and production modules, which were equipped with air conditioners and additional potable water coolers. A special diet system was prepared for worker cafeterias. Improved and comfortable bridge builder camps with all utilities, including water treatment plants, which are located close to the Olympic facilities, will be used for accommodation of the Winter Olympic service personnel. Five bridge building companies, two specialized drilling companies, one road building company, and seven tunneling companies were directly engaged in the construction of the combined motorway and railway route to the Olympic facilities. The companies under the AGs of SK Most employ thousands of high caliber professionals and a huge fleet of state-of-the-art construction equipment. 
high mobility and top-notch expertise in the implementation of complex infrastructure projects guarantee high quality of work which is always completed on schedule.